The final patch for WW2K23 is out today for tomorrow's DLC, and it sucks. I know, right? Apparently, it's crazy to think that we were going to get a, a big patch for the final DLC patch. That would have fixed the majority of the major jarring issues when it comes to this game. But what do we get instead? This right here. General, added support for Bad News U DLC pack. Gameplay, addressed reported concerns that may have prevented the silencer move from consuming a signature slash finisher stock. Universe. Improved saving consistency when editing divisions. Addressed reported concerns regarding superstar duplication when creating a mixed gender tag match. What are these notes? Like literally, what are these patch notes? They might as well just have been like added support for the bad news U pack and that's it. Nothing from my GM. I'm surprised they added nothing for my faction when it came to like on um, the patch notes. Usually they always add patch note stuff. Nothing for online play. But my only hope would be that there's another patch coming like we have for the last DLC pack how there was like two patches back to back so I'm hoping we're getting another one coming up usually they will mention if it is a part one out of a two-part update but I don't see that anywhere in this post so I think this is all we're getting right now it's not to say that we won't get future updates but those will always just be small little updates here and there mostly for my faction this right here was their chance to fix majority of the jarring issues because it's like one final patch for the final DLC and they should have went like all out on it so I'm very disappointed with this and I'm sure that a lot of people are as well. Okay, well, new models, right? What can you guys download right now? Well, there was a new Dominic Mysterio found in the files. Search the hashtag JD my faction alt and it was uploaded by what's the status and it was in collaboration with Game Vault 1. Game Vault 1 recreated the my faction attire for this Dominic Mysterio and it's pretty much the Judgment Day Dominic Mysterio with his hair a lot longer. Once you download it, it will be an automatic alt attire to Dominic Mysterio in game. So just download it and play. If you want to keep it a separate superstar because you have like a custom Dominic Mysterio Judgment Day entrance you created, go to edit superstar, go to personal information and then click on use as alt and put that to no. What's the status? Also uploaded a Wade Barrett pack. Use hashtag status Barrett pack to find all four of these Wade Barretts. This was in collaboration with Chameleon 2K who recreated all the attires. The first one is King Barrett. It comes with a custom render. The commentary is King Barrett and the ring announcer name is for King Barrett. The second one is Bad News Barrett. It comes with a custom render. The commentary is for Wade Barrett and the ring announcer name says Bad News Barrett. The other two are Wade Barrett 2010, which comes with the Nexus t-shirt and the armband, and this will be an automatic alt attire to Wade Barrett in-game. And the fourth one is Wade Barrett 2013, which will come with this WWE 2K14 attire, and it will be an automatic alt attire to Wade Barrett in-game. King Barrett and Bad News Barrett you can download right now and play early. Wade Barrett 10 and Wade Barrett 13, you will have to wait for tomorrow's DLC to come out first before you can play as them, because they are automatic alts for Wade Barrett in-game. But if you want to play with Wade Barrett a day early, go ahead and download King Barrett as well as Bad News Barrett and you can play as him early. Okay, so what has been found in the files that is most likely going to be my faction stuff now? Well, there was an extra Randy Orton slot that was added in patch 1.16, which turns out to be listed as Armageddon 2003. So we're most likely going to see Armageddon 2003 Randy Orton with his purple tights there as a my faction model. They added the RK Bro tag team entrance and here it is right here.
there was an extra slot for Booker T added in the game, and this attire was listed as 2001. So a 2001 Booker T with shorter hair will most likely be coming to my faction. They added a slot for Stunning Steve Austin, and it's listed as WCW91. So that's most likely coming to my faction. Now, if any of these my faction models can be uploaded, you know, what's the status? We'll upload them once their my faction pack drops. If not, then he just won't because they're content damaged. Uh, they added a tire slot for Kurt Angle listed as No Mercy 2000. They added an attire slot for Triple H listed as Armageddon 2002. And they added two brand new renders for Liv Morgan Money the Bank 2002. And that right there was everything for your final patch. And everything that has been found in the file so far. If there's anything new that's found tomorrow, uh, let me know in the comment section down below or just tweet at me and I will maybe cover it in a part two video if there's enough stuff. Uh, but yeah, very lackluster. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, you know, we should be used to this practice by now. It's it's just the 2K practice, I guess. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to give a like. Subscribe and notifications on. Tomorrow's video will be an updated superstar and a tire pack video. And then I will have Here Comes the Pain Part 2 following after that. Take care. Peace.